delta of this. Okay, and this to do like two methods. Now, we let me just tell you briefly the, the tricks that we do. Uh, we have this delta variation, just the variation of principle. So, delta of this into this plus this into delta of this. Similarly, so you get two terms from here and you get two terms from here. So, these are your originally you have two terms. And with this variation, uh, delta variation implies now four terms. Okay. All right. Now you want to use the z plus minus is delta. Plus minus then zero. Okay. So now if you do that, you see from here uh, there are two different ways, alternative routes that you can take. Either you convert this into the light front measure and then carry out the integrations. We want to follow the steps that we have done just for the bosonic string theory. Okay, but we did for the bosonic string theory. You might recollect that we had terms of the type delta x dot and x prime delta x prime. You recollect that, and then we we made the uh, we took the uh, once we integrated with respect to d tau here, and here we integrated it with, it with respect to d sigma. Okay. So eventually what happened? So we use the integration by parts. First term into integration of second minus integral of the tensor of first into integral of second. So if you recollect this uh, here, we, we had terms of the type, could I, uh, we had terms of the type in the delta S, we had terms of the type T uh, D sigma D tau X mu delta X mu plus T D sigma X mu dot Delta x okay. and this was at the time boundaries. This was at the time boundary. You recollect this, and we assume that at delta x u vanishes at the time boundaries, t going to minus infinity and t going to plus infinity. So this term drops out, and only this term survives. From this, you get similarly other terms with. Uh, uh, from this term you get delta x mu and you had another term d tau x prime mu delta x mu and this is at the space boundaries. So, what I want to say is when we consider only purely bosonic part of the action and we use the variational principle, we get two terms which this and this term added together gave us the equation of motion and this term is the uh, space boundary term. For making it vanish, we had gone to two different choices, Neumann boundary conditions and Richard boundary conditions. Assuming in Neumann boundary condition x prime mu was assumed to be 0 and this was non zero. So the x mu could fluctuate, see the ends of the string could fluctuate. And in the other case, we assume this as non zero, but this as zero, which means 
x mu could not fluctuate it was fixed at a point dirichlet about conditions similar is the situation here so you follow the same steps here you start with this x and use the variational principle you get four terms now use this so what will happen you will have eight terms okay four terms having delta tau and four terms having delta sigma correct and then you use this trick of partial integration no not partial integration integration by product product of two functions integration of the product of two functions we call it right integration by products so the into second stage first function in the integral of second minus integral of differential of first into integral of second right so making use of this integration by parts here you will have these eight terms of this type uh and uh, i'm So I am I am omitting the factors of iota times t and two and so on. So, for example, delta psi minus delta psi minus. Okay. So you treat this as first and this as second function, right? And here you would have integration over d two sigma. Okay. So this would be. For example, this would be one term, and this you can have first function into integral of second, the same thing, minus integral of differential of first into integral of second. So uh, let me let me not confuse you with too many terms. Uh, what happens is at the end you would have terms of the type here you have. Eight of such terms. Okay, Matthias. We begin with two terms. We use variation. We had four terms. When we use this, we had eight terms. Okay, so there will be eight terms of this type. Okay, and now you carry out the integration by parts on each term on each of the eight terms. So you will have sixteen terms. Okay, you will have sixteen terms, and then <coughs> you. Recombine them uh, using uh, backwards, okay? Delta tau, delta sigma, and what you have as a result is the following: uh, in the You will have terms of the type d sigma into twice psi minus delta psi minus plus twice psi plus delta psi plus, and this term at the time boundaries. This term at the time boundaries, and at time boundaries delta psi plus will be zero. Del psi minus will be zero. Okay, so these terms would go. Then I would have terms of the type uh, so let, let me just let me just write down that these are the boundary terms. Okay, so these are the boundary terms for the time boundary terms. Similarly, you would have. Space boundary, space, spatial boundary terms. Okay, this would be here. It would be d tau y psi minus delta psi minus minus uh, y psi plus delta psi plus, and this x minus equal to pi. 
and this at sigma equal to 0. So, this thing at sigma equal to pi minus this thing at sigma equals to 0. Okay. So, now n plus, plus we would have more terms. Let me write down them also. Plus, uh, I would have terms plus I would have terms of the type d2 sigma into delta psi plus minus del sigma psi plus which is equivalent to And uh, this term is equivalent to del minus psi plus del psi plus. This term, these two terms, they could be equivalent to this. I would have two more terms. I will write them down so slowly. So let us just recap what we are doing here so that we are not lost. We start with the action in the light front coordinates. We use the variational principle. We have four terms. We want to convert these uh, time and space derivatives with respect to the light front coordinates in delta and del sigma. Okay, so that we can follow the standard procedure. Okay, of your mathematician. And in the process, you get eight terms, and then for each term, you use the integration by.